guys, I know it's been a very long time since I uploaded a video and I thought I would tell a little bit about why it's been a long time and where I've been and what's been going on in my life because it's been quite a roller coaster lately. So I want to show share that with you and yeah, just let you know what's been going on. So if you want to see that Keep on watching. So, as you may have noticed, if you've been following me for a while, I haven't been uploading a lot of videos lately, like for over a year, I think. Uh, the reason for that is that it became, I got so much to do in my life, it felt like, and I just didn't have the energy or anything to to film videos or I had energy often to film them but when it came to the editing things went crazy to say the least so that's one of the reasons uh, then I later on uh, if we take last year like uh, 2016 I had a very um, a lot of things in the air a lot of you see I can't even I can't even explain it well, because it's all so, yeah, all over the place. But in the beginning of 2016, I began to take my driving license, so that took up a lot of my time, and after that, it, it just was one thing after the other, and I st didn't seem to find the time or the will to sit down and film. Uh, and then my makeup uh, interest faded a bit. I still love makeup and I love watching videos about it but it faded for me I, like, I thought why am I buying so much makeup when am I going to use it all even though I still want to buy makeup I just have I, I think I I switched my priorities a bit and I got into baking and I love to bake like macarons and cookies and cupcakes and everything yeah, so that is one part of the reason and then the whole of the summer 2016 I had no summer vacation usually I have at least two or three weeks off in the summer I didn't because I was going to go to Italy in the beginning of September and I did uh, and the whole time up to my vacation to Italy um, I had so 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 much to do and I was so stressed and then when we got to Italy we had a lot to do but everything it was all fun so it was fun stuff so I didn't think about that I didn't actually get someone some any like relaxation just like lay on a beach or something because that's not what I do when I'm on vacation I've never done that and the sad part of the whole thing that really set me off was that when we came home from vacation uh, I got the information that my grandmother, my mother's mother's, uh, my mother's mother uh, had gotten or had, was diagnosed with liver cancer and it was uh, all so sudden because my grandma was always a big part of my life and for me I always saw her as invincible uh, so um, that really threw me off and um, she didn't live near us then or she lived two hours away uh, and there was a lot of hospital visits and things got strange and I was so stressed about that and I just started to feel very, very bad. Uh, at the end, I I got panic attacks when I was at work and when I was going to work. So I was diagnosed with depression and panic attacks due to um, exhaustion because I was so exhausted and had been for a long time. So. I got to go to, um, I wouldn't say a psychiatrist, but 
um, someone who I talk to to get support and just to, to vent to through work and we found out that my stress had started over two years ago but it was this whole thing with my grandma getting cancer and ultimately getting a death sentence uh, that really just got me to to really just I don't know I can't even explain it in English but yeah in the beginning of December I um, began my sick leave from work so I haven't been working for four months uh, and during that time in in the beginning of February my grandma passed away so that was very hard for me and uh, this is a quite a, a kind of a hard video for me to to film because it's very emotional although I don't know if it's see if it you can show it if it shows on my face <laughs> other than me rambling and can't find the words right um, but um, yeah, so in in uh, the beginning of February she passed away. We thought we would get longer. Uh, they said about eight months, but we got, uh, I think, around five or something. She got diagnosed in September and died in, in February. Um, so that has been a roller coaster for my feelings and for everything. And it's not because of my grandma that I got exhausted or got my panic attacks it was just a big part or the thing that set it off uh, that really set it off so it was my boss at work who saw it on me that it, that I wasn't feeling well I didn't see it that way I just thought yeah I'm tired but I work through it I always had I've always done it so why shouldn't I do it now and um, so I'm really, really happy that he pumped the brakes and just said, no, Jessica, you have to go home. You have to take care of yourself. So I haven't been working, as I said, for four months. And now in the beginning of April, I've finally, I've started to work 25%. So I work two hours a day, five days a week. And I'm going to do that for a month and then hopefully I can... Excel and go to 50% and then 75 and then go back to working 100% again because I miss work I miss my colleagues and yeah so that is a little bit of why I haven't been on YouTube as much because I haven't had any energy to to really see new videos I mean I can re-watch old ones I've done that just to have something in the background when I'm out and about at home so that is one thing that I've done um, but I'm starting to get better I'm starting to get more happy and so that I'm I'm really happy about that and just the fact that it's spring and it's light out I mean the time is now almost 8 in the evening and it's still light out uh, that really gives me energy as well and on a happier note in all this rambling and everything in this sad video I can actually say that it's one good thing about this um, spring that's coming and that I'm moving I've been living in my one room apartment for over five years almost five and a half years and not having a proper bedroom kind of sucks I just have to say that it kind of sucks so I'm really happy that I am going to move and I'm going to move into a two uh, well a two room apartment so I have one bedroom and one living room and a kitchen and a bathroom uh, and I'm going to do that in the middle of May so I've sold my apartment because I own my apartment and I've bought another one and it feels so so good and I don't know if I've done a where I live or apartment tour so if I haven't done that and you want to see one 
comment down below and I'll try to film one of those. Uh, and another thing that has gotten me to just feel better about myself, or not feel better about myself, but feel better and find my energy again, is like I started to get into home decorating and like decorate my apartment because I never really decorated it even though I've lived here for so long because I think for a long time I've not been a very happy person because I have been stressed without even knowing it and uh, yeah so I have still a long way to go but I am feeling much better and I just want a fresh start so I'm going to once again next week cut my hair do my nails because I go to the salon and do them now and I love it. I have gel nails right now and I'm going to cut my hair, maybe put in some highlights and just do things that I that makes me happy. And I hope this video gives you a little bit more insight to why I've been gone uh, and that I'm going to try to come back. I've still done like snaps on Snapchat and I'm trying to do Insta stories and stuff like that but I, f I forgot, I forget about it sometimes. I'm, I'm human as we all are uh, but yeah and uh, I'm going to try to make some baking videos now that I move because I think when I move it might be a little bit easier because I've had, I'm going to have a different kitchen that's going to make it a bit more easier for me to make videos uh, about baking or cooking or whatever you want to see uh, and I just want to ask if you don't if you if you're not going to see um, makeup related videos on my channel what would you like to see would you like to see vlogs would you like to see morning routines. I've got into them at on YouTube now that I'm sitting watching morning routines or weekend routines or you know a day in my life routine. What types of video do you want to see from me if it's not all about makeup like it has been for the past well forever on my YouTube channel. So I really would like you to think about that comment down below and if you haven't please subscribe if you're new to my channel even if this was kind of a depressing video but i'm just honest and keeping it real i hope and um, yeah i think that was all for this video and i'm just um, going to say thanks for watching and i hope you subscribe comment and like ciao